Hey YouTube, Angie B here. Coming today with a um, small haul and if I can fit it in, a couple project shares. Um, the, I'm going to have a separate video that I'm going to do of some mail that came in for me. Um, a swap I participated in, small little swap. And a subscription, which really has nothing to do with crafting, but I wanted to show it because... I love the bag. So I'm subscribed to Ipsy, so I get their bag once a month. Small little bag. Gives you makeup in it, you know. But it's cheap, and I get it every month. But this bag is really nice, so I wanted to share it with you guys. But first, let's get into the haul. So I went out today, did a little shopping. Uh, me and my daughter went to the mall. Um, I got some things out of Bath and Body Works. Not sharing that. This just, like, crafty mainly. So I'll show you guys that. Very small, but I'm excited for what I got. So, first I'll show you these. Went to Michael's, um, in their clearance section, they had these, um, carton envelopes. And the paper reminded me of the paper pad. It was like a rainbow inks paper pad that I had, and I made a lot of cards and bookmarks with it. But these are all the car fronts that you get in their gold foil there. So you can see there. So these would be really good for like sentiment cards. So I picked up this because it was in clearance for like $4.97. And then I picked these up. And these are like little things everybody puts in shakers and things like that. But you can do so many different things with them. Make them look like water droplets, um, things like that. They do come in different colors, but these are in clearance for $3.47, and you get all of these. This is 12 ounce, so this is like, it's hundreds. This, I wouldn't doubt if there's at least a thousand of these in here, and I'm never going to use them all. So, I may send some out for Happy Mail for people. If you like some of these and you're interested, just comment below. Because I'm never going to use all of these. And then, uh, Halloween I think was 40% off. So, I found the vellum pack. So, I wanted to pick this up because I want to play with it. I only have a couple Halloween things that I've made. I'm not big into Halloween. <clears throat> but I'm making one more journal. Because... The one journal I made sold at my craft fair. The only one that I made that was Halloween. Um, she had her eye on it and she came back and got it when she got money. Um, so, but I really like the vellum because it's see-through and you can do multiple things with it. I actually have this haunted little house made out of wood that I'm working on right now. That I may be able to use a sheet of this for like the trees I'm thinking as a background in the window of the house and I'll probably show that in the project share video I'll probably do that video separate but everybody knows what this looks like you know I picked that up okay So, the paper packs were buy two, no, buy one, get two free. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I was sitting here, what was I thinking? I knew how much I spent, but then I forgot I got my daughter one of some t-shirts to, um, like tie-dye. So I picked her up two t-shirts too. Um, I went back to that Michaels because I knew they were going to be the first ones to have the 12 by 12 in the holiday homestead so i picked up two of them <laughs> i love this paper pack so i picked up two um so that's the first one this one has almost there's so many sheets in here that are glittered love that wood grain even that is pretty all these cut aparts right here have a glitter in them. I can't see that with this. All that white has the shimmer glitter. You can, I think you kind of see it in the red. There you go. 
beautiful cut aparts. Some plaid that the snowflakes have glitter on them there. The tr Christmas tree, some stars, good backgrounds, papers. That one sheet nobody ever knows what to do anything with. Some more cut aparts, tags, and they all have the writing has glitter in it. Oh, look at this one, little cute, little shape, cute right there. That would be good in a little shaker. All this snow right here on the trees is glittered. I love this paper. Love that. Well, even like they're just. I know I can utilize so much of this paper. Love that. Beautiful background and a card. Beautiful background and a card. Um, and the white here is glittered on those and then some more plaid so I picked up two of those that was my two free <laughs> um I picked up the wrap with care I know I didn't pick this up I know I didn't no I picked up the safe freeze first time I went I didn't pick this one up I didn't really care for it, but I didn't see any other 12 by 12 in there that I really wanted. Um, like I have the glitter paper, I had the I have the embossed paper, which I barely used any of last year, and it's the same one. Um, so I just went ahead and grabbed this one. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of it. Like that's pretty. That's pretty. That's not bad. I like the gold foil. That's not bad. These would be good for maybe making boxes with. There's a, now there's like some cute cut aparts in there. Now those would be cute fussy cut. Even a background on a card maybe. So, I mean, I guess it's not bad. I can use it. Ooh. The Christmas, they're foiled. That's pretty. I can utilize them too. So. I guess it isn't that bad. Now that, I don't think I would use. No. That, no. And I'm not into the truck thing really big. So, I got this one. So, um, good on Christmas paper. Um, there's a couple more. Since we're talking about Christmas and Halloween, I made a couple more Christmas cards. They are shakers. I gotta um tweak a little bit. So this one was actually almost gonna be a mistake until I just tweaked it. I just took this red and white twine around this whole thing. Cause I when I when it laid, it did not lay like where it was supposed to lay. It kind of laid off a little bit this way and then you could see the double sided foam well I put this over it so you don't see it and now I'm just going to glue this a little bit to so it doesn't move and I tied a bow up here I don't know I might add something else in a corner here or something to it but it's a cute little shaker may the Christmas fill your home with joy so I, I cut that out put the vellum and all that Sticky double, I double layered it. I had to to get the um for the white balls to be able to roll around. And then this one, I'm gonna add something to on. I think since I did this, I have um the golden white twine. I might take around and then bow it at the top for this one, and then add something else to it too. But this one turned out cute. It says I'll be home for Christmas. Mm -mm. and I do have to give them inserts so I'm going to finish these up today oh and I made four more hold on look I almost forgot I got to finish these up too I made these last night <laughs> so they're all pretty much the same 
This green <laughs> embossing is killing me. So it says sleigh bells ring. I cut those out. Put the little red shimmer paper behind the big Santa. He came from Dollar Tree. Put some paper in that background. And I snipped just the corners out here, if you can see that. I just lined that up and used my um, detail cutter and cut them out myself. So that's these. So I made four of those. And they need inserts too. I think they turned out cute. I wanted to use these little sandy faces real quick and get them out of the way. So I'm going to uh, finish those and let's see. I made, I'm going to start two new journals. One is going to be a Halloween one to replace the one that was sold. And then another Christmas one upside down. Hold up. Here's the cover. I already made the covers. I made them, um, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday. I, like, finished them off yesterday or the day before, whatever. But they turned out really, really good. Like, no issues there. They went down nice and smooth. So you can see my seam right there. But that'll be covered with its, um, you know, after it's all decorated. You won't see that. <laughs> Alright, so that being said, ladies, I'm going to stop this video, record my other little mail video, and then get back to crafting. So with that, be safe, be blessed, and as always, have a great day. Bye.